The idea of a song or an artwork comes uh, the same way for me. For a song, it's a moment yeah. that I feel like I'm doing something. Yeah, and uh, directly I have uh, lyrics yeah. <laughs> on this uh, melody. So uh, it comes uh, in an in, in emotional moment. Maybe it's a sad or happy moment, but it comes like, like spark. Welcome in a new episode of QL Interviews. My guest for today is Susanna Jama. Welcome, Susanna, and thank you so much Welcome for joining Maya. us today. Thank you. So, I don't know what to call you, multi-talented, or <laughs> shall we say, like, the super woman? I'm humble. Yeah. I'm calling myself a multidisciplinary artist. <laughs> <laughs> Susanna, can you tell the QLers a little bit about your background and your experience that lead you to where you are today? I discovered my art part uh, in really young age. Then I got into a fine arts uh, department in Damascus University. At the same time, I established my studio in 2004. All, uh, during all of that time, after graduation, I was also training my voice to sing. I performed in uh, the Opera House uh, yeah. and uh, with some rock bands. Yeah, all of those have shaped me and shaped the art on me. Now, we know that you, you were an artist in residence with the fire station, right? And mm -hmm. you're still, I guess, you're having your gallery soon. So can you yes. tell us a little bit more about this experience and how it affected you the last period? Yeah. Uh, when I left Syria, I was active in the art galleries. So the good thing that happened to me in the fire station, it was like uh, a nice refreshment for me because I have lost uh, most of my artworks uh, in the looting and destruction wow, <laughs> because yeah. of the war. It's more than three years of uh, depression. Oh. Then I decided to finish my master's degree and get into fire station. Yeah. Those was part of uh, my healing. I, I believe in this place and in the variation in this place, variation between experiences that in the fire station. Uh, I think I developed myself in the fire station because every day we learn. And this place is a good place to everyone, whatever you, the age is, the, whatever the uh, artistic stage is, it will add something. I wanted to do environmental design with uh, some artworks and each uh, artwork will have sound. That's how I can use uh, yeah, the three arts that, uh, that, that I can do in, yeah. in the same place. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a hybrid new uh, technique. So being an artist, designer, and we notice that you are a singer and a songwriter, I want to know more about this. Yeah. I trained myself secretly uh, to become a, a good singer yeah. and I'm so picky as a singer. This is w uh, why uh, I'm not doing music all the time and uh, this is a luxury that I have because most of the musicians uh, have to do music all the time even if the project is uh, not on their standards. I have done uh, soundtracks for my artworks in the fire station. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a very nice experience uh, for me uh, because I'm not doing anything to be commercial. Yeah. It's art for art. It's only feelings uh, in this project and I think I'm gonna keep it like that. Now uh, I have to add more and do more uh, art uh, in total new way or a new wave uh, of a contemporary uh, surrealism mixture. Maybe I can't name it because it's gonna change with time. Sure. My visual uh, art is gonna change and develop 
with time. So uh, there will be an exhibition that includes uh, uh, the artworks that I saved, literally, from the destruction, wow. and the new artworks that I'm doing now. Okay, so now let's end with an advice. An advice you want to give to everyone, to all the younger generation, and to everyone who's like at their beginnings of working as an artist, designers, or whatever. Okay, uh, keep doing what you love to do, because you will be the best in what you love, yeah. not the best in something else. And uh, if, you, if you are a parent for uh, some talented uh, individual, mm -hmm. just support uh, this talent. Uh, maybe it will uh, surprise you in the future. Sure. No matter what uh, the society or people uh, said, uh, you don't have to care about it. Sure. <laughs> just do what you love to do. Exactly. I just reached the end of my question. Thank you so much, Susanna, for joining us today, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching, and if you want to know more about you and interviews, go visit our website at cutterliving.com. Stay tuned for the next episode and have a good one.